you want to be uh, educated. You did a video with me a number of years ago. I hope it's not on your site. Oh, yeah, it's a... Uh, oh, it's we did, uh, Tony Corrado came in studio, and, and let's give a little bit background on, on who he is. Well, Tony was a DUI task force officer in the city of Atlanta. He made thousands and thousands of arrests. He was there for 17 years. He ran the Batmobile, so when you went to a roadblock, they'd park the Batmobile so they could process people quickly and mm -hmm. take them straight to jail. They didn't have to go down and get a breath test on them. So. He is trained in field sobriety tests. He's an instructor. He's an instructor in the drug recognition course. So when we put you up here, knowing that you're you're over 40, right? Yeah, I am. Got the grades to show it. <laughs> well, this recent study shows, a 2009 study out of England shows that if you're over 40, you can't do the field test. You are, you're, you have become decrepit, so to speak. Uh, oh, I will, so. I will get in line and say that's the case. So Tony gives me the field sobriety test here in studio, by the way. This is a couple of years ago we did that. I was like, show it to me in during a break. And, and it's very funny because he's like, okay. So we did the whole, you know, like lift the leg, walk the line, the nine steps, the whole deal. And, and the only thing, and this is a true story, the only thing I had to drink that day was Diet Dr. Pepper. Okay? So I figured a little caffeine, I've got my wits about me. And, and, and Bubba videotapes it. I'm stone sober, no glaring lights, no, no fast moving traffic, it's not night, I have had nothing to drink, I'm not on a rocky side of a road, and I fail. I fail the sobriety test in the studio. That's right, and that's why I tell people, you don't need to take those, they're voluntary and optional, there's no license penalty for not taking them, and they're designed to fail, especially for somebody over 40 like you, mm -hmm or anyone else is overweight or has orthopedic problems, you're just not going to pass them. So all you're doing by taking them is giving basically false evidence that the court, that will be allowed in court to say that you were too impaired to drive because you couldn't do field tests. And you can't do them in the studio on carpet with lighting, air right. conditioning, and no, no threat of being arrested. 